Hey everybody, it's Brandon talking about Chrome OS Flex yet again. And today what I wanted to discuss is we've gone over a lot of videos on things you can do on Chrome OS Flex. What I wanted to think about today is should you install Chrome OS Flex on your laptop, especially right now in its early state that it's in. So let's go ahead and go over that. Just as a background for myself, um, I've been using Chrome OS Flex now for one week, and it's the first experience I've ever had with Chrome OS. I haven't used a Chromebook before or anything. So I went into this knowing pretty much nothing about it, and I was pretty anti-Chrome OS up until this past week, just because the whole idea of an operating system that's totally web-based kind of sounds stupid to me. But now that I've been using it for a week here on two different laptops, um, I've really changed my mind on this. I've come to realize that pretty much everything I do is web-based anyway, except for my software development work, which a lot of that is largely web-based as well. And for the things that aren't web-based, you got on some devices Linux capability, but we're going to get in that in a second. So... For me, I'm going to keep Chrome OS Flex on the two laptops I installed it on, which is this Asus and an old MacBook Air. Now, why am I going to do that? This Asus, let's start with that one. It came with Windows 10, and I got the update to Windows 11. Both of them ran like a dog. Okay, it, this laptop was slow, barely usable. And I did put, before Chrome OS Flex, I put Fedora Linux on it, and it ran better with Fedora Linux. But then when I got the invitation from Google to try the Chrome OS Flex, I did that. And the interface is a lot faster than Fedora and light years faster than Windows. This thing does not feel like a slow piece of junk anymore. But let me be clear about something. When I say it's faster, the operating system is faster. Windows open faster, things are smoother to move them around. I click on the button here and my menu just comes up. I don't have to wait for it. You know, you go to settings, it just pops up. You don't have to wait. You know, it's just not laggy. It feels smooth. But it doesn't make your processor faster. So if you're playing a web game, it's not going to give you more frames per second. Um, like, if your laptop could barely watch a video before, it's probably not going to fix that. At the end of the day, your computer is what it is. The specs are what they are. Chrome OS Flex... Definitely uses less resources in Windows, and so you might, in your actual applications, get a little speed boost from that, but it's not going to miraculously make your computer a better computer. So that's one thing to be clear on. And another thing I've noticed, with the Linux applications you can install, they don't run as good as they did on Fedora Linux, or probably any other Linux distribution. So... And I wanted to stress that point because I have a whole list of questions like that you guys have sent me on stuff I'm going to get to make videos about over the next week. And I look forward to making those. But 90% of them involve me testing things out under Linux. And so one thing you should consider if, if you're really just wanting Linux, especially right now, this is not the best Linux distribution. It's something... The Linux stuff needs work. I've run into a lot of applications I won't install or won't run right, and they're kind of slow. So if Linux applications are your primary concern and you're looking to get away with Windows, maybe just install Linux. Um, I, per I prefer Fedora. It's what I use on my main workstation, but there's a lot of good distributions out there. So that's one thing you should consider. Um, because on this old laptop, Linux did run pretty good on it, and I could even get Linux running on that old MacBook Air. So that's something you should think about. But if you're primarily doing web-based stuff, browsing, well, basically everything's browsing on the internet, this is probably better than Linux. And why do I say that? First of all, I like the interface a lot better. It's clean, simple, fast. I, I think it looks good. And um, if you're in the Google ecosystem, this ties in, you know, I, as you'd expect from a Google product, it's good. It also interfaces with my phone really good. I can do my messaging from here. I get all my phone notifications on the laptop. It's really neat. So that's what I wanna say about that. Now, when it comes to Linux, if you do 
or if you're doing mostly web and just like the occasional Linux application here and there, here's something you got to realize. It, Linux worked on this Asus. I cannot get it to work at all on the MacBook Air. And I've seen a lot of comments in my videos where they can't get the Linux to work on it. And I don't totally know why it's not working yet on, for all these people. I know the first thing you got to check is in your uh, system BIOS when you boot your computer to make sure you have CPU virtualization enabled. But a lot of people have that and it still doesn't work. Now I've read some forum posts somewhere that um, one of the reasons might be Chrome OS blocks it, uh, the Linux from being used on systems where the, um, the Spectre or the Meltdown vulnerabilities are an issue. And so maybe that's what's going on. I haven't looked into it enough to know, but it seems like there's a fair number of devices out there where you cannot get Linux working on this Chrome OS Flex, at least right now. Another thing, uh, the Android applications are not working on this yet either. And so Android is one of those things. If you could have that working, most people probably wouldn't need Linux. But if you can't get either, then, you know, you're stuck with just web apps, which is going to be fine for a lot of people. But for a lot of people, that's not going to be what they want. So that's two things you need to know. For a lot of people, Linux is not working at all. And we're going to keep looking into that. Maybe we'll be able to figure something out, but that's what it is right now. And I don't know anybody who's got an Android working on this yet. So now if you're really into Chrome OS, you could just get a Chromebook. And those probably mostly run Linux and Android. I don't know. I've never used a Chromebook, but I'll get to that in a minute. So let's see. Here's what I like about the Chrome OS Flex. It looks good. It's pretty fast. It does most of the things I need. And if this thing gets polished a little more, I could almost use this on my main development workstation. I've already tested that it has pretty good multiple monitor support. Um, if they get Android Studio working on this one, which I use a lot, that would be good. If they got to where you could run a virtual machine in this, to where I could run Windows through VirtualBox or another virtualization container like that, that would be good. It can do the Linux stuff that I need well enough. And so I could see, and after a few more iterations, a few more months of development, I could run my workstation on Chrome OS Flex, it, depending on which direction they take it in. I mean, it could be a, one of those products where they just kind of let it die. So who knows? And um, so that's one thing we'll be looking for. Whenever there's an update, I'll keep you guys informed of what's gotten better, what's gotten worse, etc. Okay, so at the end of the day, here's what I'd say. I think Chrome OS Flex is at least worth trying. It's free to try. You make your USB stick, you put it in there, you don't have to install it, you can run it, you can see if it's right for you. If you do everything web-based and you're on a dog slow Windows computer, then I'd say go for it. Even in its current, you know, unpolished, unfinished state, like, I never used this laptop when I had Windows because it's just so slow. It was barely usable. Uh, with Chrome OS Flex, I've used this laptop every day. So that tells you something right there. On the Mac, the Mac was even worse. This MacBook Air I have came out in either 2010 or 2011. And it stopped getting updates a long time ago. And, I mean, you'd start it up. You could barely move a window around. The thing was just laggy as all hell. And when... With Chrome OS Flex on that thing, it's just as fast as this little laptop. It's like a whole new computer. I was really impressed with it, but I cannot get the Linux working on that. I think maybe the CPU is just too old. So, so that's a downside of it, but I, I still like using that laptop again. I've taken it on the couch with me and I've used it. I mean, the battery life at this point is less than an hour and a half on that old Mac, but oh, Speaking of battery life, on this one, um, I don't know if you can see here, seven plus hours left of battery life. I just unplugged it a minute ago before I started the video. And I think that's actually accurate because I've been using this thing on other days for hours on Chrome OS Flex and the battery life's been a whole lot better than with Windows. So very impressive. So here's what I'd say at the end of the day. For just web stuff, yes, try it out better than windows it's worth it if you're wanting to run this linux application that this that this that i would 
strongly consider thinking about actual Linux. Um, like I said, I love Fedora Linux. It runs Steam. It runs pretty much every Steam game I have, even ones that are Windows only work on it. It um, All the development work I do works perfectly on it, and it's a great system. So that's another thing I think of. But yeah, just let me know what you guys think in the comments. If What kind of experience you had with Chrome OS Flex, if it's worked for you, if you think you could use it on your main PC. I really think if they keep improving this <clears throat> in a few months, maybe by the end of the year, I could put this on my main workstation, and I think it would work fine for everything I do. But it's not totally there yet. I would love to see the Linux polished up. Um, Linux apps also kind of look janky. They don't really look. They don't have as good of look as, what am I trying to say? You can tell it's not a Chrome OS application when you load it. It just looks bad. And it'd be nice to have Android working. I don't know how much I'd use Android apps, but it'd be nice to have it. And I think if Android apps were working, a lot of people would not have to mess with Linux on this thing at all. So those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I have a whole list of... Uh, videos and questions of things I'm going to test out here and let you guys know. So subscribe if you want to see all that. Like my video, please. And, you know, as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you all have a good day. Bye now.